viruses borrowed lives and how soap can kill them. There are various kinds of viruses that infect a living body. Microorganism variants are viruses at a dormant stage being outside a living cell. They have a strong protective coat called capsin, which is mostly made of protein with lipids or fats found around the protein membrane. This protective coat safeguards the genetic material, which can either be DNA or RNA. As soon as Varian enter a cell of a living form, Varian, now a virus, exposes its genes as it sheds its coat and commands the cell's replication system to reproduce its DNA or RNA and protein, and more viruses are born, which will then go into other cells. Virus comes from a Latin word which means parasite. They are like parasites indeed as they are totally dependent of a host for energy and protein and to become active. Our immune system quickly responds by producing antibodies, enveloping the viruses to cease the attack. Interferons are released by the immune system to interfere in the viral replication, while cytokines are also released during this process to promote inflammation to isolate the invaders. But inflammation can also harm our body. It is a balancing act that our immune system needs to maintain. There are viruses that have developed a mechanism to avoid being detected at the onset, like that of HIV and the viruses that attack the central nervous system, like measles, influenza, and polio. Soap can kill viruses. A drop of ordinary soap diluted in water is sufficient to kill many types of bacteria and viruses, including the new coronavirus that is currently circling the globe. Soaps are made through the process called saponification, where fats react with sodium hydroxide to produce soap with molecules each composed of a polar hydrophilic or water-loving end and a non-polar hydrophobic or water-hating end. When you wash your hands with soap and water, you surround any microorganism on your skin with soap molecules. The hydrophobic tails of the soap molecules attempt to evade the water. In the process, they attach themselves into the lipid envelopes of certain microbes and viruses, tearing them apart. Thank you.